Now at 4.30, ballot box battle. Some unofficial ballot boxes have popped up in Southern California. The Republican Party admits putting them there. And just within the past half hour, the Secretary of State called these boxes illegal and wants them removed. Two of those ballot box drop-offs were placed yeah. in Orange County. NBC4's Vicki Vargas has more now on the investigation underway there right now. And those boxes are taking on even more significance. According to the registrar, 80,000 ballots have been returned in this county so far. And of those, one fourth have come from boxes like these. This is just one of the unofficial boxes seen in a tweet promoting Republican congressional candidate Michelle Steele. The GOP will not say how many they own or where they were placed. A campaign official said it was not inside her headquarters. This is what they are supposed to look like. The ballot drop boxes are emptied daily. They are placed in easily accessible and public places. These women say after hearing about the unofficial boxes, they drove to drop off their ballots in person. It's a war against, you know, our country. It's a war against our democracy. And I, I, whoever's doing it needs to be arrested. In the midst of this intensely watched general election, Democrats are accusing Republicans of ballot harvesting, while GOP officials say, quote, Democrats are only opposed when someone else is doing it. According to the Orange County Registrar, giving your ballot to someone else is not illegal. By law, that person does not even have to be related to you. And there are no limits as to how many ballots they can deliver. If I'm handing to you as an individual and I'm designating you to handle it for me, I'm not designating a box to do that for me. So that's the difference. His Facebook post shows another unofficial ballot box outside a church in Castaic. Officials in three counties now looking into each of the known box locations. Shocked, I figure somebody, whoever wants to, is going to make sure that other people's ballots don't count because they want to make sure that those are being thrown away. So it's an illegitimate voting session. The Orange County District Attorney confirming they have launched an investigation and will have to determine if there was any criminal liability. In Santa Ana, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.